Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can analyze and report the findings of interviews or focus group interviews. So before this, I will show you also how you can actually collect data without having to transcribe it or transform it in uh, sophisticated ways. So to collect uh, qualitative data or open-ended data, you can use what we call uh, questionnaire-based interviews. So you simply go to uh, Google Forms. Okay, so this is a platform. And then you can create the questions here by choosing paragraph till you put all your uh, questions of the interview, be it structured interview or semi-structured interview or unstructured interview and then share this uh, with the interviewees so that they can help you fill out the questionnaire based interview so once they uh, write their answers then you will uh, have to go to the response or responses and click this green icon you will have this uh, Excel or spreadsheet and then you download it So once you download it in Microsoft Excel, you will have the data on Excel, so we have this interview. We need to uh, Code the respondents by giving them numbers like from 1 to 10 uh, We can present some of their demographic variables, etc. So once we, we do this, we can even compute some of the frequencies or percentages of, for instance, gender. We can compute that without having to code this. So we go to just we select the data and then go to insert and click recommended charts. So then we can click OK. And here we go. We can add the data labels like this. So we have six female respondents and we have four female respondents okay so this is just a description of the demographics of the interviewees remember this so once we present the background or the interviewees we can classify them into this table like participant id and their gender maybe we can present other demographic variables like location like other variables of interest okay so once we do this the second step is that we need to come up with a word cloud like this. We can use some uh, software or programs like InVivo or MaxQDA, but there are some online platforms that present such ways of representation in an easy way. I'm going to show you a website. It's called Word Cloud or Word Clouds, like this. It's a free one. What we can do, I already have plotted this data just to show you. I can take the, the data from here and I need to clean it. So I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the responses, only the responses, because the questions will show up in the uh, output. This is not what I would like to have. So once I just copy this, I can go to this website and uh, copy, for instance, the the text etc there is a way to to do it we can just choose from so we have different options of directions okay we have word lists files etc extract words from text okay and i'm going to paste this so we remember and then click apply and then we can choose the the shape etc or text like this apply we can have this uh, diagram or word cloud drawn like this and then we can save this as an image for instance so there are many techniques that you can uh, use here, uh, word list, shapes, texts, etc. You can use whatever you want, like colored maps. So there are many 
different shapes. You can choose which one that suits you the best. So once you do this, you can just uh, save image as, or you just can take snipping tool and extract it. You can download it for free from here and even choose which format you need it in, and then you copy and paste it. So here it is. So anyways, this is just a way to show you how we can do this. We can uh, then start the analysis and we can use thematic analysis in the sense that we need to uh, organize the output into themes based on their frequencies, for instance. Okay? Or the most repeated words. In fact, I have to code the data and read it, but it's a small size data. You can just read that and identify the code by following structured coding or unstructured coding. There are many ways of how to code qualitative data depending on your research questions and objectives. So once I finish the analysis or the reporting, I can keep bringing some instances or statements of each respondent with, with its number or with his or her number along with gender if it's relevant and keep backing up the statements. When I finish, once I finish, I can just include this table with themes and description. And that's it. These are the references that you can use. And this is the way we can go about analyzing or in fact collecting, analyzing, interpreting and reporting qualitative data. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.